The streets of Gaza have returned to life after three days of warfare. The Israelis targeting the personnel and possessions of a group called Islamic Jihad. So we try to make contact with their leaders. These are not easy people to meet, but we've had a call from Islamic Jihad, a member of their political wing, and we're hoping he'll give an interview. A location was given at the last minute, for members of this movement are subject to attack. Who is responsible for the recent fighting? The Israelis describe their military operation, called Breaking Dawn, as an outstanding success, killing two senior members of Islamic Jihad. But al Bach says it's not a fair fight. But Islamic Jihad is not unarmed. They launched a thousand rockets at the Israelis, although Israel says many of their weapons malfunctioned, causing significant casualties in Gaza. The president of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, has tried negotiating for a Palestinian state, but Islamic Jihad has no time for deal making. There has to be a better way. You could accept Israel's existence. يعني لا يوجد في العالم رجل يحب يعني يؤيد السلام أكثر من رئيس محمود عباس. ولا وإسرائيل لم تعطيه دولة فلسطينية بل أضعفته وتبتلع أرض الضفة الغربية شيئا فشيئا. And the Islamic Jihad movement, it will fight. هل تقبل أنتم أن تحتل لندن من قبل الروس مثلا؟ فكيف نحن سنقبل احتلال فلسطين ثم نبقى عبيدا عند الاحتلال هذا كلام غير عادل غياب العدالة الدولية ستؤدي إلى مزيد من رقد الدماء في المنطقة. Gazans know that the violence will return and some are making preparations. John Sparks, Sky News on the Gaza Strip.